Hey, what's up everyone? Back with another how to draw video, but this time I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. Um, instead of using a pencil and paper uh, with a camera and all that good stuff, I'm going to be using uh, my drawing tablet with a screen recorder, which is a little bit different. Uh, realistically, it's the same thing. So um, I'm, I'm pretty much going to be drawing on what's pretty much exactly like a piece of paper, but on a screen. So, uh, this is what we're going to aim to be drawing. Uh, I drew this like last week. It took me maybe about an hour and a half. So, uh, I don't want to make an hour and a half video. So, um, we're going to try to speed it up a little bit. It probably won't look as good as that, but uh, this is just the gist of it of, gist of, it of how to um, go through the steps of what I really did to make it. So, um, first, um, my Instagram. If you all want to follow me on Cairo Draws, um, I have all my stuff on there, um, um, all my drawings, all that good stuff, so if you want to check me out on there, you can go ahead, I'm going to shrink this up, um, yeah, if you do uh, decide to follow me off of there, um, let me know that you came from YouTube so I know where everyone's coming from, and maybe I can give you a shout out or something, okay, so start out with a circle, let's get to the drawing. I'm going to come up like this, come down like this, and this isn't the toothless from the movie, this is going to be like a baby toothless, so it's going to be very small and baby looking, okay, I'm going to come down like this, this isn't his eye, this is more like a, um, how do I explain this, this is like the outline of his eye, kind of, like the, maybe like his brow, it's just indicating that he, um, he has more to him than just eyes planted in his, in his head, pretty much. So from there, uh, we're going to get into his eye. I don't want to draw his whole head yet, because I don't know exactly where I want to place his chin and stuff, because I need to get in the eyes first to know exactly how far away to do uh, his chin. And I really don't feel like erasing already, because there's going to be a lot of that. I can tell you that there's going to be a lot of erasing. So... Bear with me here. It's gonna come down over here. Um, try your best to make them even. Um, this one just being a tad bit higher, I guess. Okay. Then once you have that, I can uh, go in and I can place in this this side of his head. And this is just a rough layer because on this I can go back and I can really. Uh, um, go over layers and fix my drawing. You probably want to draw a little bit lighter than me because um, you don't have the luxury unless you're using one of these to, to go back and uh, really fix it like I can. Because if you draw, you know if you draw something too dark and you try to erase it, it just doesn't happen sometimes. <laughs> so uh, be careful with what you're doing. Draw it very lightly to start. Okay. And these little lines right here are gonna come in later. They're gonna be uh, they're gonna be um, shadows. Okay. So boom, we got those. Um, I'm still gonna leave the side of his head not uh, not drawn yet because I I still don't know exactly where I want to put things. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't even know what these things are up here. These are like horn type deals. I really don't know. They're awesome looking. Come from there. You know what? Sorry guys. Um, I want to move this over a little bit. I know it's probably annoying for you guys because you can't really do this. What I'm doing. Um, but. If you want to go back. And try to fix it. But I just, I just didn't really like how the line work was there. It really wasn't um, where I planned on, it, planned on it being. So if you just want to go back and change that, sorry. So I just moved the eye over a little bit. So it wasn't lined up correctly with the top of the head. And it threw off the whole drawing. So I really wanted to make sure that wasn't the case. Same with these. I'm a mess right now, sorry about this guy. <laughs> oh god. 
you need to really make sure the horns are in the right spot. So the one's going to start like, maybe this one was, but the other one wasn't exactly how I wanted it. And then this one's going to start like right here. And we're going to go through and we're going to make these a little bit bolder, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit more distinguishable. Distinguishable. Sounds right. Okay. Then from here, we're going to get to the ear. It's going to come up like this, over, down, and then it's going to connect somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure yet because I don't have that side of the head in, but actually that might be good. Yeah, it's about good. Okay, and then over here we're going to do the same thing with the side. About right here, we're going to do the other ear. And then it's going to come down all the way over here. Again, try to draw as light as you can because whenever you have to go back and fix something, you don't um, you don't want the lines to be too dark or then you're screwed. You can't you can't fix it. So just, just need to make those lines. That's what I'm going to do later with them. Okay, now from here, um, we're going to leave a circle right here, and we're going to leave a circle right here, and then I'm going to zoom it in, and I'm going to shade in the eye. I'm trying to keep this all in one layer, just so it doesn't get too crazy with all the erasing, and layered, and this is going to be a mess for all you people who are using a piece of paper. I know most people don't have a drawing tablet and they just want to draw with um, a pen and paper. That's fine. That's what that's what I've done for years and that's what I actually prefer doing. But when I do videos like this, it's just it's just easier to draw on this and records right to my computer. So that's why I'm doing this. And plus, um, since I don't have like markers and stuff, it's a lot easier to uh, to draw on one of these because. Um, you have everything right here. You have every resource, every kind of pen, pencil, marker. But honestly, if you can't afford one and you want to do art like for real, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a like a Wacom. Some they're the the really expensive though. So uh, be careful if you want to get a Wacom. You have to have a thousand dollars probably. But eh, that's what you love doing. Maybe ask for it for Christmas or something. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, it kind of looks like a like a baby horse right now. <laughs> We're gonna add in his little his mouth and stuff. And this is this is the hardest part for me, his mouth. Oh, wait a minute, that might actually be, be kind of good. Okay. This might actually turn out looking better than the one I did. <laughs> I'm trying to draw a very... Oh. Oops. That's not too bad. I kind of like that. Okay. Okay, I'm just going back and fixing some of the lines. The line work. That ear looks terrible. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. be so much easier. I was taking my time, but I don't have that luxury. Okay. Let's darken the eye up a little bit. Looks like a whole bunch of scribble doubles in here. Okay. Very nice. Let me that crap. Okay. Um add in a little line right here, indication of like an like an eyebrow ish type deal. Same on the other side. Nice. Maybe move this. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try something here. I just want to see if I move this up, that it'll look nice if I move it up. Cause it might be too low. I'm not exactly sure. How do I move this? Oops. 
Does that look better or worse? Definitely worse. Okay, that's that's fine. We're gonna leave it here. I can mess with it too much. As I mess with it some more. <laughs> that, that's gonna be good enough. Alright, uh This is just his head. He's still got his whole body to do. Jeez. Okay. One more thing, we're gonna bring this this isn't gonna change anything for you. I just need to to uh, bring it up and make it smaller because it's it's taking up my screen. I can't really get down there. Okay. Okay. Go. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Still fixing stuff. Never satisfied with what I got going. I mean, with my drawing, that might life, of course. And down here. Okay. That's, that's going to be one of his arms, okay? Didn't notice. Okay. Another one over here. Here. And right here. He looks a little naked, but we're gonna add a whole bunch of stuff to make it look better than this. Okay. And this would be one of his wings. This is gonna be the other one. Okay. In case you need to see it all. There he is. He's looking adorable. What do you know? I really want to get rid of these lines in here, but that would mean me making another layer. We'll see. We'll see if I do that. I'm not exactly sure if I want to, but I might have to to make it actually look decent. So. Okay, he's going to have one here and one here. I'm going to come down like this. These are little claws. Same thing on the other side. Probably put something on it. Okay. Move my page down a little bit. Again, I keep touching it with the side of my hand. <laughs> so annoying. But what would you rather have? Uh, drawing a piece of paper and you're smudging it with a hand, or you're just making something that you can erase really quick? But I actually prefer paper, so I don't know, I don't know why I'm advocating this so heavily. But. Plus my hand is getting very hot on the screen. I need like a, like a glove or something <laughs> to really combat the heat. Okay. Something along those lines for his tail. Uh, I feel like it needs to be shorter, but uh, well, we're just going to leave it. Because YOLO, right? <laughs> No one has said that in like six years, right? No. Yodo, you only draw once. No fixing stuff. We're rolling with it. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna come over here, add in this little. I don't know what these are. These are just little differences in skin tones. Uh, that'll make sense later, you'll see. Pretty good. Let's finish his wing though. Looks a little, a little messy. That wing. 
He's always my favorite part of a drawing, doing like the curvy wing like things. It's just always you just gotta do them really um freely. Don't tense up too much, don't try to plan it out too much, just just try to just try to wing it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Come on. Right? Right? No? Okay. Let me know if you enjoyed that. A little feedback never hurt. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. I really, um, I might have to go over this again, the line work, just so I can get rid of the, uh, the harsh lines. So let me do that really quick. Oh, wrong way. Now this is just this is just me tracing, so I really can't explain anything. So, how's everyone's day going? <laughs> Mine's going good. Uh, I made a video before this. Um, took about 40 minutes, and then I uh, realized I wasn't recording. Uh, that's how my day's going so far. Yeah, I like how I did the mouth here. That'll work. I feel like this isn't going to be as good as my bottom layer. <laughs> Let's we'll see. No, it's definitely not. Let's get rid of this, you know? We're just going to roll. We're just going to roll with this layer. Heck yeah. This is our layer from now on. Okay. Um, let's color it. Let's more color. Okay. Um, now a lot of this is going to be like uh, just just shading. So um, we're going to go with a paintbrush. This paintbrush. I don't know the difference really. Um, what do I want to do? Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I, I don't want to make him like so dark. Um, I know a lot of people like to make him black, but uh, I feel like a color like this suits him better. Except for, um, I gotta start doing it on the right layer. I'm drawing over my stuff, which I want it to be under. See how you can see the line work still? So you really want the, the, um, the shading to be under. Let's just run through this. I'll try to stay in the lines as well as I can. Oops. Oh, crap. Okay, if I erase, I'll, I'll go back to when I started coloring in. I don't want to do that. Okay, 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 okay. But to be fair, with the drawing I did earlier, when I, when I, uh, Forgot to record. This looks a lot better than that one, so maybe it's good I didn't record. Hmm. Can't imagine if you're doing this on a piece of paper, trying to color all this in. I mean, like unless you have like a marker or something like that. But if you have just like a pencil, oh, this is like my least favorite part of a drawing is when you have to do like the base shade. And it's just, you're just constantly just with your pencil just over and over for like 40 minutes it seems like it takes me to do. I'm like drawing this size, which is actually kind of small. I think he's like 4 inches tall on my screen. <laughs> Not that it matters. I'm rambling. What do you talk about when you're just shading stuff in? 
Okay, we're gonna put the paint right here. Okay, we're going to his toe. Okay, now we're going over to his heel. Okay, there's just really nothing for me to say right now. Right? You can color this in because I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna fix it anyway. Just don't. I, I really don't want to color in the the white spot because I don't want to erase it because that has to be white. I can already see where I messed something up, but uh, I really don't want to fix it. Um, if you're wondering what I did wrong, the wing should be like over here. You know, let's fix it. The wing should come down. The wing should be coming down right here behind his head. So like, it's supposed to go up like this. Okay. So sorry about that. Um, I didn't mean. I I didn't mean it. Okay. It really wasn't that big of a fix though, so that's okay. For me at least. Oh, I'm doing that. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go back into this. Take my little dipper. Boop. That color. Yeah. And more painting. That's what it should be. The wing should be over connected like below his his horn thing. That's what really threw me off. Like when I was looking at the drawing I did, something wasn't looking right, and then I spotted it, so I decided to fix it. God, this is taking forever. I'm hungry. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm almost done though with the shading. This is, this is the most boring part. But after this, we can uh, add some shadows and all the fun stuff. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna go around and I'm just gonna get rid of the excess stuff that I don't need. It's not entirely messy. Oh, got some stuff. Horn. Is this a horn? What is this thing? Horn. Is this a horn? What is this thing? Okay. Uh, that was annoying. Okay. So, now we're going to take this same color and then we're going to go in and we're going to lighten up some areas. Okay. Like this. Except for, um, I don't want it to be so like darkened. I want it to be airbrushed. So that it looks more, um, it looks like it m matches in more. Not that it's just like, l like laid on top completely flat and looks awkward. So this is going to be light. See how it looks more like seamless and not so uh, um, deliberate. If that makes sense to you. I'm talking to you guys like you're idiots. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot something. I'm a right now. Because if you have time, don't rush, please. Because this is what happens to me when I rush. I get all, get all messed up. Okay. Um, more airbrush. Oh, crap. <laughs> I almost did a black. I need this color. Airbrush. I did do a black actually, I'm just covering it. <laughs> ah. Kyle, you're crazy. 
Okay, now let's go with the darker color. Actually, let me select this. Boom. We're going to go darker. We need to make our airbrush a little bit thicker. We're covering more area with this one. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. It's really important around his eyes because this is going to be the darkest part of him right here. Because it's really showing that um, the difference between. Because with, with like a character so dark, um, you need some way to show that uh, he has features on him. So the only way to do that is to uh, make things lighter, darker. So around here, y you really want to emphasize his face. And you can't do that without, um, without darkening it up or just using lines. But I feel like with a character like this, you need to uh, you need to darken instead of using lines because I feel like lines um, could ruin a character like him. I'm just going through and darkening up the spots that I missed. Okay. Where was I? Airbrush. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And my most favorite part is when we add in the highlights with the eraser or if you have like something white or like a white paint or something like that it really really makes your drawing stand out I do have to add in a thing, I can't believe I forgot this. Um, actually, let's do around the layer above this. Uh, no, because it won't work. Um, it needs to be this layer. Uh, we need to add in his eye color. It's going to be a light yellow. because it's uh, thinner. Okay. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to add in the bottom of his eyes. Uh, let's go with... Let's try this. Whatever it is, we're just going to roll with it. That's what we picked. This is what we're going with. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. You know what we could do from here? Now is this is the chance where we can um get rid of this this garbage right here. Haha. That's actually pretty good. Okay. okay. Starting to shape up a little bit. Um, we still need to add in some uh, some work down here. Like some more. Uh, let's go a little bit darker here. There's something with a paintbrush, see what happens. Oh jeez, it's huge. Um, 
I don't like that. We're gonna go back to the airbrush. I feel like it's easier to use. Definitely more seamless, for sure. I like that a lot better. We're gonna go even darker for this right here. darker for over here too. I'm pretty much just messing around with it until I get something that I like. Layer on layer. Layer upon layer. Okay, it's starting to look starting to look better for sure. But let me go back. Let me darken up my lines again. How long is this video right now? I have no idea. I'm getting worried though. I think it's over 40 minutes and I don't want... <laughs> no one's going to sit through this long video. If you're still watching, thank you. I mean, this is taking a while. At least you got the line worked down before you left. I don't know I'm talking to people that are reading. Okay. Let's go in and add the highlights. Uh, let me merge all my layers though first. Okay. This is the fun part. I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to add in some some highlights. Boom. One highlight. And like how that turned out. I didn't add a highlight up here. We're gonna add one in his eye too. It's very um, discreet, but uh, really, it really helps. It doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot, but the subtlety of it is my favorite part. More highlights. Okay, crap. Got my hand stuck on my screen. Trying to go around my outsides of some things. You don't want to go too overboard. Like, uh, I might try to blend some of these in a little bit. They look a little bit too uh, obvious, but yeah. Okay, uh, one more thing. Um, go back in with my airbrush. I'm gonna darken up the top a little more. I'm gonna try to. S Ooh, what the heck? Oh, it's black. Ha! <laughs> Duh. Let's go with this. Darken it. I need to stay away from my highlights or it'll uh, erase them. So I'll cover them up. Smooth it out a little bit. You know what? I might have to cover them up. I really don't want to, but I need to smooth this out. I'm just going to go back in and do it again. I'm just going to go back in and fix everything. And then we'll be done. Just darkening up my lines. I mean, it's, ver it's very rough. I'm, I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible. I would like to take two or three times as, as long to do this. I was actually doing a drawing, which I did last week, but 
I can't make a t two hour long video. So these are just the basic guidelines to drawing baby stitch. Stitch, uh, toothless. Hold on, have I been saying stitch this whole time? I hope I haven't. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> but it, it is the same guy who, uh, the guy who, um, animated, uh, this character, toothless, also animated stitch. So there's no, uh, it's obvious that they look alike. Add a background to this. A little bit of a background for ya. And what sucks is I just covered up <laughs> my uh, highlights on a couple spots, but it's fine. Okay. We're gonna go back in and get this. And I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit more. With the, with the big brush. Let's take this big brush. sure if you can tell what it's doing but it's just kind of making it less blocky and more uh, more natural looking it's very subtle but subtle but okay there we go. Um, this is your toothless. Very roughly done, but uh, with the time, that's all I could really do. Um, but again, follow me on Instagram, uh, Cairo Draws. I'll draw a little bit bigger. Cairo Draws. And I have all my stuff on there. Um, if you want to look at a few of my things I've done recently, I've, I just started uh, using my thing. But um, uh, this is the one I did before. Um, this is the one of the stitch I did. So if you want to check those out, Cairo Draws, check it out. And thank you for watching.